Hey family, um, I want to have a conversation here uh, a little more real than uh, than usual. I think we're we're very very due. Uh, I want to start off by saying, well, uh, first off, I'll start by saying I'm not quitting YouTube. I, I just realized I was kind of putting that vibe out there, um, but uh, I might change the way I'm doing things around here. I think it needs to. I think I need to. I'll, let me let me um. Let me just get going. I want to start off by saying thank you so much. Like those of you in my, you know, baby back maniac family who have been supporting me for the last, you know, five, six years or even more recently. But those of you who just, you know, enjoy my videos and 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 watch them. And and I, I, I really, I really, really am thankful for you guys. You mean a lot to me. You're the reason why I do this. And when I think about like what I would do with my, like if I was ever to retire, what I would do with my time, it would be to cook barbecue and make videos about it for you guys. Like it, it, this is, this is so much fun for me. This process, uh, the the video making, the storytelling, the barbecue making, all of this, it's just it's just awesome. Like I love it. I feel like it's one of the things I'm put here to to do, and I, I don't want to forget to start there because um, what I say next will. Um, It'll be helpful to have it in the shadow of making sure I tell you how much I appreciate you guys. Um, if you were to talk to a lot of my friends, like my YouTube friends in particular that know me both as a YouTuber and in real life, um, I think they'd tell you that I'm a pretty authentic person. Um, what you see on camera is generally, you know, what you'd see off camera. I mean, we may talk about other things, and but like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty authentic person I don't really know any other way to act you know um, it, it's comes naturally um, and that's what I try to do on video sincerely yet there's a process there's something about making YouTube videos that maybe doesn't cause you to be inauthentic as much as it limits how authentic you can be. And I don't think any of it is, is bad. Um, but a lot of it is constraining. It like, it like, you know, it slices off parts of your story, parts of your personality. I'll just get into it. I'll just get into it. And, uh, like I'm dealing with burnout. Um, I'm dealing with frustration. Um, I, I, over the last few years, um, it's been harder, gotten harder and harder to, um, find joy in, in this, even though it's something that, uh, that I love to do. And I, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about why, because I think it's important because I think this actually affects more than just me. And then I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do different going forward. So, um, when you make YouTube videos, no matter how honest, no matter how open, no matter how authentic you try to be, there are certain factors that jump in the way of that. Um, the most obvious is just the production factor, right? Like, um, I in real life, I want to I want it to feel like we're talking one on one. In real life, you don't look like a lens. You don't look like a Canon camera with an expensive microphone on top. In real life, I don't shine like a bunch of external lighting I wouldn't have in your face. You know, I don't, I wouldn't wear a shirt that says baby back maniac on it. None, there's nothing wrong with any of that stuff. It's all part of the process. I wear the shirts um, because I have four of them and if I spill something on myself, I can swap real quick and I don't have to think about what I have to wear in videos. But in real life, man, it's a, uh, it's t-shirts and gym shorts and in the weather in the winter I put I put a coat on over the top. Anybody who knows me like from real life will tell you they never see me with pants on. I mean shorts. They see me with the shorts on, but you get where I'm going with that. Um that would that almost got a lot more interesting. Um so you have the production aspect of it, you have the algorithm aspect of it. Like, once your channel gets to be any size, you 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 go into YouTube thinking, I can make videos about whatever I want. This is amazing. And then you quickly find out you can, but if you don't make, if you don't make content about what the algorithm wants to promote or thinks is important for your channel, you're not going to get 
your message is not going to get out there. So it's not that people aren't willing to watch it. It's that they never get to see the, the thumbnail. They never get the opportunity to watch it. And this, this, the algorithm aspect of this has gotten more and more extreme over the years where you, I mean, if you basically, if you don't do what the algorithm tells you to, it almost feels like you're wasting your time. So that doesn't mean you make necessarily for me, it doesn't mean I make content about things that I'm not interested in. It just means I don't make content about some of the things I am interested in. So a lot of the stuff I'll do, I'll, I'll, it'll be stuff that I want to make videos about, but it's also things that, that I feel like if I do the, the algorithm will promote. So you'll get a chance to see it. And the reverse of this, it gets weird y'all like, um, you know, like <laughs> you'll make content about, you know, four different grills or four different cuts of meat or four, you know, four different videos about four different things. And people will come in on one of them and wonder why that's the only thing you ever do. Like, I don't like this brand. Why do you keep making content about this brand? And you're like, well, that was four videos ago. The last time you complained about this and I've made three since then. And then this person will be like, uh, why didn't, I see any of these other videos and it's because the algorithm only showed it to you because you engaged with this topic and told me you hated it last time. So that's just how the algorithm works. It looks at what you respond to, what you engage with, and it shows you more of it, either from me or from someone else. Even if you hate it, that's what you get. It's so weird. Um, so all that to say, like obeying the bidding of the algorithm is kind of something we all tend to fall into a pattern of doing, you know, and that just kind of slices off a little bit of maybe what you're, what you would have done otherwise, just like what I was saying with the production, with the shirt, the lights, none of this, none of this is an issue. None of this is wrong. It's not a problem. It just kind of slices away. Another thing is trolls. Trolls are such a beat down. It's the worst thing about YouTube and especially with YouTube making the decision to do get rid of down votes it's it's just so comical because they said they did it for for mental health um that's not why they did it um, because if they were worried about creators mental health there's way much more stress that comes from comments and then there are from down votes and and i can still see the down votes i don't care about down votes that's you know but i can still see them if i want like so hiding the down votes on this video from you only hurts me <laughs> it's, it's this crazy thing but yeah it's the comment section that that um you know in real life you may have somebody get in your face and tell you they think you're fat think you're stupid think everything you say is wrong not like like once a year once in your life with youtube it's every day and and so, and, and if you make a mistake in a video, you'll hear about it for years. So over time, you develop this pattern of protecting yourself, sometimes from perfectly normal comments that you just don't want to answer for the next seven years. Like I, I may not in real life, if I was talking to you, tell you that I use post oak every time I make a video, but I might do it every time I make a video to avoid having to answer that I used post oak for the next five years, <laughs> if that makes sense. And that's like, that's not a bad comment, but the bad ones, you know, if you leave yourself open for something where they can tell you, you know, they hate you or you suck, you you, you wanna believe that that um, your skin is thick enough to, to handle that, and most of the time it is, but um, you know, that gets old. Um, and so you, you change the way you make content a little bit to accommodate the trolls so you can get, stay out of that little you know pit of vipers and <laughs> and stuff like that so and then you you have i mean i've had real life stuff i've gone through a lot of tragedy over the course of this youtube channel and i figured out early on that like if i if i ever alluded to anything bad that happened people unsubscribed and so that's an odd thing you know when you're when you're making content solely to entertain you know and to lift people up and then the, the times in your life when you're going through something and you and you even hint at it um you see people leave even if the rest of the video is excellent like you see people leave they unsubscribe and then youtube stops promoting the video and um it's it's basically what that translates to is being being authentic about things that are not perfect or happy um 
is hard is it damages your channel and that's a weird thing it's a weird thing about about the algorithm so like the end result is, is like i'll just be honest like my dad died my dog died one of my best friends from high school died this past summer and i i would you know i would want to come on here and tell you guys hey i'm struggling instead i just take three months off and then i come back and everybody like i start getting messages about why i take too long between between videos that's the mean way of saying it there's a lot of nice people that checked in and stuff and i appreciate you guys again going back i thank you for those of you who've been supportive um anyways you take all these things and they start to add up and you start feeling in addition to you know like this cuts away a little bit of what you might have done this cuts away a little bit of what you might have done and you end up in this little bitty box of things that you can make videos about and and like things that the way you make them and or this is how I feel um, and and I, I that's not what I signed up for even though none of those things are wrong in and of itself that's it's just that's what makes it very difficult for me to to crank out content is is all those little factors trying to meet check all the boxes basically what I'm saying is I'm a huge people pleaser <laughs> and I know that's a character flaw um, but it's it's something that has had a dramatic impact on my channel and something that I'll just fast forward I've talked to a lot of people about this there's a lot of guys going through the same thing this is my story not there so I won't go into it but um, you know this is this is a real this is a real issue with YouTube because at the end of the day the YouTube algorithm is here to make money the way the algorithm makes money is to keep people on the platform longer and the way it keeps people on the platform longer is by promoting people that are going to keep people on the platform longer whether or not that's good for the individual creators or not so at some point you have to say enough's enough and you just gotta you just you just gotta be you you know instead of making content that that will keep people on the platform longer so that YouTube will maybe promote it you just gotta like decide to be you <laughs> and uh, after talking to a lot of people I actually ran across two two different creators one guy's um, his first name's Tristan I wish I could remember his last name I'll put it on the screen he wrote a blog post for epidemic sound and one of the, the thing that stuck out to me was he was talking about keeping your humanity in your storytelling and how important that is you know your perspective is important and then smarter every day which is a huge YouTube channel which is absolutely awesome um, it's kind of like Mark Rober it's just um, they kind of, they're basically like almost the exact same channel just for some reason Rober's channel's grown a lot faster than um, Smarter Every Day, even though I, they're both just so great. Um, one of his last videos, he's talking about like not losing your voice, and he's specifically talking about uh, in the algorithm how he discovered when he made content that was longer, um, his videos did better, so he drifted towards making longer content. For him, that was a big deal. For me, that wouldn't be as big a deal as long as I'm not fluffing out videos. Um, but for him, that was a big deal. He, it did not feel authentic to him to make longer content just for the sake of, of he said he was altering his memories, or, you know, and he, he kept coming back to losing your voice, finding your voice. And, um, and, and I, I just started realizing like the reason I'm, I'm having a hard time with, with doing YouTube, even though doing YouTube is exactly what I want to do with my time, is because I've allowed these outside factors to influence me in a way that I don't think makes me happy. I, I make videos for y'all, but am I? You know, am I, am I making content that'll please the algorithm? Is that the, and then I can just say that I'm making it for you guys because there'll be more of you guys. And then, you know, I'm blessed to be where I'm at. What's wrong with me that I'm not content with, I mean, you guys are great, you know? I see so many wonderful content creators that are busting their balls to, for years. And, and the algorithm isn't promoting them, and that's so not fair. 
Like that is, uh, I mean, some of these guys are just, they're doing such good work. And, and uh, I, I mean, I just encourage you to check those guys out. But um, all that to say, I, I, this is just sort of what I'm, I'm going through right now. This is what, what I've been thinking about. And this is why, you know, a lot of this stuff that's been happening in my personal life and, and how it interacts with how I make videos and why and what I'm doing and you know the that's that's kind of where the struggle is I don't think again I don't think it's unique to me I think the trolls thing is universal I think trying to feed the algorithm is universal I mean you hear youtubers talk about it all the time that's why people say like subscribe and leave a comment I'm not totally sure liking and subs well, subscribing might and certainly leaving a comment does but like like that's where all that comes from. That's where that cliche is. That's where the frustration is. And um, anyways, I don't know that I have this all figured out, but going forward, here's what this is. Here's, here's, here's what my focus is. If you guys are still, still, the good thing about this type of video is this isn't the type of video the algorithm is going to promote. So I know if you've been listening this far, you're one of the good ones. <laughs> I'm very, very thankful for you. So, um, and I can probably guess the names of most of you um i'm tempted to say leave me a comment let me know you're there but then it's back to manipulating the algorithm so don't leave a comment and let me know you're there <laughs> um but see that's how that's how we're thinking you know that's that's how it works like um <laughs> so, I'm so meandering thanks for staying with me but um yeah this is not the solution maybe this is but this is my thoughts right now this is what i'm gonna do going forward and this is what i'm i'm gonna change in 2022 because i think it's better for all of us one is i'm gonna focus on this family i'm gonna focus on you guys the ones that have been a part of this journey with me and and who have been so supportive i'm sorry for thinking about you know for thinking about like one of the things i figured out i was having lunch with a, a buddy of mine who I don't n n normally, I don't normally go to lunch with people who know me from YouTube because I have had some odd scenarios in the past, but this was sort of pre that rule and this guy turned out to be amazing. So uh, we, we have lunch about every, his name's James O'Rear. He actually is another YouTuber. That's the reason why, um, why I was willing to go meet him. He's got a YouTube channel called Let's Get Coffee. He hasn't put up anything in a while, but it's if you're interested in coffee and you live in Southern California, check him out. But one of the things that he said to me was, um, it seems like you're always making content to for people who hate you. He's talking about trolls. Um, to protect yourself from trolls instead of making it for people like me who just love to watch it. And I thought, he's right. At first I was mad, and I thought, he's absolutely right. And for that, I apologize. I, it's not that I think I'm making it for other people it's just i'm so trying to deflect criticism it's like a self-protection thing that it does end up altering the way i make content so from now on it's for you guys like i'm gonna make i'm going to be thinking about you guys when i make content the people that have been here the family i'm not i'm not going to worry about the next hundred thousand or the attracting more people i'm gonna it's us it's, it's, we're the we're the family you know, that's my, that's my goal. That's one of the things I'm going to strive to. And I apologize for shifting from that. I never really, I didn't really realize I was doing that. The next thing is I'm going to focus on, as the school bus goes by, this is perfect. Um, rather than blocking out noises and distractions and making the product technically better, better production quality. And I'm just going to try to make better stories. Like I'm going to try to make. I'm going to talk about things that are super interesting, super interesting to me, because just like what Tristan and Smarter every day we're talking about, like, they, they're, like, I'm not the point of this channel, but I am, I'm the pointer. Does that make sense? So like things that, that are interesting, that I think are interesting, you might too. And, and, and that's how I'm going to pick the topics, not based on pleasing some algorithm that changes every day anyways, and, or appealing to the masses um you know i'm gonna i'm gonna really focus on the stuff that matters to me and and that i hope matters to you the stuff that i think is cool or funny or interesting so that's um 
that's what I'm, that's, that's how I'm going to handle that. And then I'm also going to be more open. Like, I really do think there's a part of, uh, the, not this. I mean, it's not going to be like this every time. <laughs> this is a pretty big, pretty big dump of information or emotion or whatever. Cause I'm not, I'm not looking for drama and I'm not looking for, um, I'm not looking for, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not trying to manipulate you. I guess is what I'm saying, like some channels do, but I, I can, I can certainly let you know when my dog dies, you know, um, that, that seemed, that was a pretty tragic thing. You know, when my best friend from high school died, I, I, I can let you know that I don't have to belabor the point, but that's something I'm going through. And, and, uh, when something cool happens, I can let you know that too. I don't know. I don't know why I exactly I got away from that, but anyway, so that's, that's, that's going to be my approach. Focus on you guys, focus on things that I think are super cool and, um, kind of let a lot of this other stuff, you know, slide. And, um, hopefully this helps some of you guys. If not, it helped me. So thank you for listening, especially if you made it this far. I really do love you guys. And, uh, thank you. Uh, you guys are the best. Bye.